A schnor is the Jewish word for a mooch, all right? Someone who mooches off of other people. But it has a special connotation um, in the Yiddish language, and it certainly carried over uh, to Jews speaking English um, in the United States. Um, and it's because historically there was this whole group of people, especially in the, in the Pale of Settlement, where earning a living for a Jew became incredibly difficult in Tsarist times. And they would go around and they would essentially claim their entitlement to the charity of others. And they would say, you owe me a living um, because I am poor. And the logic behind it was that giving charity is you know, n- not simply a good act. It's considered what Jews call a mitzvah. It's something that's a commandment by God. You're supposed to help those who are unfortunate. And a lot of uh, Jewish people who were more inclined towards, uh, I-, I don't want to call them singlers outright, but they were people who wanted to linguistically manipulate their way into claiming that people had to take care of them. They would go around and they would say, well, you know, it's your obligation to support me. So you, so what if you happen to have a bad week economically last week? How does that affect me? I didn't have a bad week. Why should I suffer for it? So they're always highlighting their own suffering and trying to make the other person feel guilty as having been responsible for that suffering that, uh, that they're endure, enduring. And I, I found that a great word in the Odessa context because it captures that, that gray area between being an outright criminal and being someone who is basically a law-abiding, upstanding citizens, because they would look for all sorts of schemes to acquire wealth, 